Welcome back to this edition of Farm Fact Friday. Did you know that the Antonius Union School District was the first school district in the entire nation to own its own organic certified farm? This week we're going to dive deeper and figure out what does it mean to be certified organic and what that looks like here at the farm lab. We'll also look into the Ecology Center and our partnership with them and how we collaborate to help not only our school district but our community. Before we get started, we're going to turn to Farmer Catherine and ask her some questions. A couple of questions I wanted to ask Farmer Catherine was, who is the Ecology Center and what does it mean to be certified organic? Here's her response. Hi, I'm Catherine, the farmer for the Ecology Center. We're the farming partner for the Encinitas Union School District. Uh, we were brought in to really help ramp up production here at Farm Lab. To grow food beyond just your family and your friends takes a concerted effort to grow for 5,400 students in the school district. So we do that using organic farming practices. It's a certification through the government that ensures that we're not applying any pesticides or herbicides that are synthetic in nature. So that means not from nature. Including nature in our farming is really, really important. We value diversity in the soil and in the plants around us. Farmer Catherine just told us that because Farm Lab is a certified organic farm, we don't spray pesticides on our crops, which got me thinking, what is a pesticide? Let's look at the word a little closer. A pest is something annoying or bothersome that can cause trouble. For example, some pests on the farm include squirrels, rabbits, mice, rats, or insects. These pests can cause trouble by eating the food we are growing. The Latin suffix of this word, aside, means to destroy or get rid of something. So a pesticide is a chemical that some farmers spray on their crops to get rid of pests in a harmful way. Now, let's dive deeper into why pesticides are bad for the environment. One answer, the destruction of biodiversity. Biodiversity is the variety of life in the world or in a particular habitat or ecosystem. Let's take a look to see how pesticides can negatively impact an ecosystem. Here you see the picture in the middle of a farmer spraying pesticides onto his crop of corn. Follow the arrow to the right and you'll find the snail who is living in the cornfield. That snail will be eaten by the rat who will then be eaten by the owl. The pesticides that the farmer sprayed onto his corn travels through the snail, then the rat, and then the owl, harming these creatures within their ecosystem. Now, if you look back at the picture of the farmer and follow the arrow to the left, you'll see the cornfield after a heavy rainfall. The rain will wash away some of the pesticides from the corn, where it will soak back into the soil, contaminating that soil, or run off into our streets and then eventually out into our oceans, now infecting a completely different type of ecosystem. We are extremely lucky here at Farm Lab that we don't have to spray those harmful chemicals on our crops. Though you might be wondering how does Farm Lab keep the pests off of our crops and the food that we're growing here. So we're going to go find Ms. Crenshaw, Ms. Smith, and Ms. Catherine so they can tell you all about our organic pest control and how we keep those pesty pests away from our food. Hi there, this is Ms. Crenshaw at Farm Lab. Today we're going to talk about organic pest control. These flowers are called calendula flowers and we had first graders plant them back in the fall. Look how big they've gotten. The thing about calendula flowers is that insects, small insects, do not like the smell. But we people like the smell. Um, other flowers that can do this are marigolds, chrysanthemums, and clover. So we've planted these all around our crops and they're keeping those pests away from our crops. Hey, it's Mrs. Smith. Did you know that we have another form of organic pest control here at Farm Lab? We have owl boxes and raptor perches. The owl boxes provide a safe place for the owls to live and hunt from, and the raptor perches, perches attract large birds such as hawks and falcons to come and hunt. Both the raptors and the owls like to eat rabbits, mice, and rats, which are another form of organic pest we have here at the farm. We provide a safe place for these large birds to live and hunt for food and in return they help us by keeping the pests away from our crops. Here on the farm we have another form of pest and predator protection. This is called exclusion. So putting a physical barrier between the pest and our plants. 
Um, you can use fences, uh, but here we just have a simple row cover. And if you look below, we're gonna pull off pull off our row cover and here we have our broccoli. These leaves are young and tender and the squirrels would certainly love them. So this will help keep any pests away. To close out this week's Farm Fact Friday, here are some additional photos of our organic crop protection. Being a certified organic farm means that the people and the animals on the farm do not have to worry about dangerous pesticides and that the food in your school lunches are safe and healthy. Remember that we have extension activities at the end of each video, so get ready to hit that pause button.